Hello, I'm Anawaltus, and welcome to another episode of, uh, I guess, uh, this Rootskip series. And once again, I've messed up with my mouse. It, it happens almost every time. It's, it's because I do all these different things all day, and then I suddenly play RuneScape, and the way I like to play is left hand, but suddenly, suddenly everything's alright. Alright, so, looks like there's two people on the chickens over here today, uh, across the road, um, there's some people on the cows. Let's see, is, is there an, a neat little corner on the chickens that uh, we can take today? I'm just going to have a look here, and, oh, that's a, a chicken, there we go. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to do, um, oh well, we'll, we'll stick with it. This should be a, a nice long fight, and we'll get plenty of uh, experience from it. So anyway, uh, what is it I wanted to talk about today? As always, I'm always open to a collaboration, doesn't matter what it is. Um, unless it's smut. That's the one exception so far. There may be more exceptions depending if somebody finds something really, really weird. But anyway, so far, so good. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a big gripe of mine, and that, of course, is none other than uh, people complaining about career politicians. It's always career politician this, career politician that. Um, why don't we get rid of all career politicians? Well, how about we get rid of all politically illiterate people, okay? How about that? How about how about we do that and we'll see how things go? No, I'm joking. Of course not. Um, we're not going to lift people up in helicopters and, and throw them out. That's not a very nice thing to do. But uh, what I am saying is... Just think about this carefully for a second here. If a politician is a career politician, then of course that means that ideally it's someone who has experience and expertise in the field of politics. And you may ask, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What is it? Well, I would have to say that it most certainly is a good thing to have someone that has expertise in the field uh, that that person is working in, particularly uh, when it comes to uh, expertise regarding highly important work, such as politics. Um, or, let's, let's take another example, surgery. Most people wouldn't want a surgeon that doesn't actually know uh, about how to perform a surgery. Just like most people wouldn't want a politician who doesn't know the first thing about foreign policy or about uh, economics. And I'm not saying that people who aren't career politicians don't know those things because there are many examples wherein people do know a lot about foreign policy and about economics and such things. But uh, when we really think about it, the big question becomes not whether or not uh, you're a career politician, but whether or not you know what you're doing. Or in another sense, the big qu ooh, uh, double bones there. Uh, not from the same chicken, of course, but uh, here we go. Uh, not as crowded as I would have perhaps expected, but it does lag me a little bit to be here. Let's get some more bones. So the, the big question here is, it, the people that are opposed to career politicians most of them would probably admit that if you grabbed a random person off the street, it's unlikely that that random person would be superior in political skill or political prowess or political accomplishment to an actual career politician. Oh, I just got a prayer level. That's pretty nice. 
and the same is true for most people. And of course there are a few exceptions, but we have to remember that the exceptions in this case are not the rule. But I think the reason why many people have an opposition to career politicians is because they see politicians who get voted for and elected over and over and over again and then don't actually accomplish much. And that, of course, is uh, problematic. But I don't think it has anything to do uh, necessarily with the politician himself being unfit so much as it has to do with the voters just not making a wise choice. In other words, in a democratic system, it is the voters' responsibility to ensure that able politicians are elected, or in another sense, that if a politician is up for re-election, an unskilled politician or a politician that has proven himself to be ineffective should not be re-elected by the voters. And when that happens anyway, although the, it is the politician's fault in some essence for not telling his voters and, and not admitting to his failures and not stepping down, it is also most certainly the fault and responsibility of the voters for choosing to elect an incapable politician. And that, of course, is uh, highly problematic. So, uh, uh, on the issue of term limits, I'm personally against term limits. I think that if you have a good politician, you should be able to elect him as many times as the politician is able to run. Uh, assuming no superior politician comes along. But if you enter into a situation where people are voting over and over again for the same politician and then the people complain about term limits my answer is of course whose fault is it it's it's not the politician's fault because he's of course it is his fault in a sense because he's a bad politician however it is the voters responsibility in a democratic system. Now, in a, in a monarchy, it's a bit different. So, uh, and of course, there are mixtures of those. But uh, that's just my idea on that. And so, my conclusion then has to be that there's a lot of people voting that really shouldn't be voting. And why do I say that? I don't necessarily mean that people should be barred from voting. In, in a sense, or that people should have to uh, do a test to qualify for votes. But what I do mean is that people should take a responsibility for themselves in order to know whether or not they know what they need to know in order to vote. For example, uh, in the pr in I, I live in the U.S., uh, for those of you who didn't know, in the latest presidential election in the U.S., I voted. But before I voted, I looked at every candidate that was on the ballot, not just the president. I went all the way from the top of the top, the president, to the bottom of the bottom, the local guy who uh, is responsible for dealing with uh, water pollution and such things. And I looked at every candidate from every party in detail on every level in between those two, including those two. In other words, when I went and I voted, 
I was confident that I knew who I was voting for and what the policies were that I was voting for. It, and the problem is a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people like to just vote for someone they know even if there's a newcomer you might as well at least see what the news the newcomer's policies are maybe the newcomer has superior policies maybe the newcomer is horrible and you want to tell people not to vote for him I, either way it's important to actually know who's who's on the ballot because a lot of people just end up voting who they're familiar with or who's for which political party just looking at the political party and voting based off of that now while i do admit that political party can in some ways be a good general way of knowing the positions that a candidate is likely to have it very frequently is not the full position of the candidate and therefore uh, as people experienced with politics will know there's many different divisions inside of the various political parties for example in the united states um generally speaking the republican party is the opposition part well was the opposition party at the time of obama which meant that as the opposition party many groups that opposed president obama would gather in the republican party even if they were generally opposed to the party platform and the same thing with the democrat party uh, people like to oftentimes vote in blocks and they'll make compromises in order to satisfy uh, it, or to be more exact not to satisfy but to acquire a chance of getting their policies put through and one big example I would have to put in here is that of well Bernie Sanders for example is is an example he's a more outspoken socialist than Hillary Clinton which of course is a little division in a party but uh, an even bigger example I would have to say is how a lot of libertarians who hold a uh, classically liberal ideology or uh, political philosophy is perhaps a better term a lot of them in the US vote Republican even though the Republicans although they do have many of them anyway have a similar uh, idea of small government a lot of them are more uh, in line with particular values that uh, they like to call conservative values now of course that's not universal among republicans there's big government republicans there's also uh, many republicans who are not conservative uh, one big example would be uh, i guess donald trump there you go. Uh, but uh, that's... Uh, and... And the same is true in the Democrat Party. There are a lot of communists in the Democrat Party. And uh, thank you, Genie. And I'm not saying all Democrats are communists because that's that's too much of a meme. But uh, ooh, snap, we can get a, a little skill advance here. So the question is, which one would be amazing to advance? Well, I actually think that 
Uh, prayer is a bit harder to train. Actually, let's let's get defense. Uh, it's not a lot of XP. But snap! There you go. So so that was my opinion on on uh, well term limits. Uh, I guess you could say career politicians as well as the diversity of political parties because they are all very diverse. But on another note, Marvel Infinity Wars, um, very interested to see what's happening there. Um, if uh, anybody has any uh, any sweet leaks, hit me up. I'm always happy to know the story beforehand. Uh, okay, that, that's that's another thing. Um, I oftentimes, if I'm gonna watch a movie, I oftentimes will read the plot synopsis before I watch the movie. And number one. It's uh, it's to see if it's the kind of movie that I'd like. And number two, I don't really care about spoilers. So, uh, spoil away. It's not a problem for me. I like spoilers. And I hope all of you like spoilers. Because I'm about to spoil the ending of uh, Infinity Wars 2. And that is, of course... You ready for this? Infinity Wars 2 ends with, uh, with, or at least at some point in the movie, all the Marvel heroes that got killed, they're gonna come back. Believe it or not, that's gonna happen. It's not the most obvious thing uh, in, in the book, not the easiest trick, not the... Uh, banana and the dumpster uh, easiest trick in the book oldest trick in the book don't forget don't remember because I'm geriatric uh, I my mind's going it's going it's going it's gone there you go that's what happens uh, when you when you start talking about politics while playing RuneScape, your mind just goes away. It's gone! It's not coming back. Um, I'm not getting any of this time back. I'm I'm busy eating, okay? I'm eating. What am I eating? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, who wants who wants uh, a nice, juicy cooking with Anawolta's show? How about that? How about I actually cook some food in real life and uh, make some dank cuisine it's gonna be so dank uh, because, as you all know, I am the master chef, uh, and as the master chef, I know everything there is to know about cooking. Uh, well, anything that you would ever need to know, anyway. Anything else that I don't know about cooking is obviously stuff that nobody needs to know and that really needs to go away and die, uh, because. I am the cooking expert in this hood, and if anyone disagrees, well, guess what? It's it's not time. It's not time to disagree, and if you choose to disagree now, then I suppose I'll just have to kill you. Uh, no, I will not have to kill you. I will just have to bake you a delicious pie, and then you'll say, Oh, wow, Monsignor Anawiltus, I am very happy to have this pie it is very delicious and if you would like to bake another one for me I would be very glad and then I would respond well thank you uh, good citizen I am happy that you enjoyed eating my pie I would be happy to bake another one for you on an appropriate occasion. And then we'd all be happy ev everly after. 
and happily ever everly after a happily everly afterly easterly wind trade winds yes would be sailing on the trade winds because we're so happy because the tie the the tie that we're wearing uh, reminds us of the pie uh, that we ate that was so good and and then everybody forever will acknowledge my master chef skills and if they don't acknowledge my master chef skills I'm just going to have to bake them a pie too and they'll and they'll know they'll all understand they'll all know that I can cook I can cook I can I can do it so can you and if you can't do it well I can and that's how life works and that's why I am the master chef thank you but then I realize I realize that the bones that I'm burying they're not the bones of chickens no 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 they're not the bones of chickens they are the bones of the ancient knight uh, from Flanders yes uh, the region of Flanders he, he was related to the Duke of Flanders um, and I, I am using ancient in a, a more literal manner so I do not necessarily mean antiquity just so that everyone in the comments section can finally shut up about about that I am very well aware of the historiograph uh, the historiographical implications of the word ancient and you don't have to remind me I am the historian here. I am the master chef. I am the MLG Pro game gamer who is the best RuneScape player who ever played. Uh, take that, uh, Zezima, Zezima, don't even know because you're nothing to me. Uh, Excel, who's that? Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm even better than... I don't know, Sky does Minecraft. Yeah, that's not even a RuneScape gamer, yeah. You're not a real gamer, Ant Venom. Look at that. Ant Venom? What's that? I'm joking. Uh, of course... Of course I know... That... There are other gamers out there. It's, uh... It's not a forest in the woods. Alright. It's... A forest... Is a woods. And the woods is a forest, and there's wood in the forest, and the wood in the forest comes from trees. Ooh, somebody's being called out by the sergeant. And if the sergeant calls you out, that's when you know that your goose is cooked. And if your goose is cooked, then who will cook your goose? But that's perhaps a story for another time. So let's see, what are my skills going at? Well, that boost in XP left me a lot closer to level 30, which means that uh, I will probably reach Addy level uh, by the time I finish training for level 15. Oh wait, I am level 15, okay. I didn't need to do this at all. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting Addy level today. Uh, so sorry so sad but time's up I'm glad okay so let's let's finally leave that there and here we go we're moving out we're gonna head straight to the Lumbridge Bank Wait, no, no, not the Lumbridge Bank. I don't need to go to the Lumbridge Bank. I don't need to go to the Lumbridge Bank. I'm a big boy now. I know how to walk. I know how to run. I know how to fly. Do you know how to fly? Of course you do. Because you're an adult. I'm an adult. I can fly. Can you fly? And that's... And that's how... Louis the Windmiller accidentally died 
jumping off his windmill, believing that he could fly just because he owned a windmill. Let it be known to you and to everyone that just because you own a windmill doesn't know, does not in any way mean that you can fly. And if you have been captured by that delusion, or if someone you know has been captured by that delusion, I highly recommend that you seek some help in order to acquire the mental fortitude that is needed to understand that you cannot fly. It's a multi-combat zone. Alright. Alright. Okay. So for this part, let me just uh, do something here. Want. I'm trying to move my image. Okay, well, here's what I'll do. I'll just move the screen back there, and I'll uh, I'll do it behind there. There you go. Uh, that's done. And there you go. All right, and. I'll just raise that up. There we go. Done like a pru, uh, a pru. I'm not a pru. I'm a, I'm a true MLG Pro gamer and YouTube superstar. So let's let's deposit those rubies. Nice, amazing, and we don't need those feathers anymore. So now, the time has come. The time has indeed come for me to grab. I think it's a small fishing net I need. Uh, oh, somebody's casting some magic there. Uh, let me just double check. Is it the small fishing net I need? I forgot. It's been so long. Okay. So shrimp is net fishing. Sea bait fishing is okay, but I wanted to go here to net fish since it's close to a bank. So yeah, I I will be staying here. And looks like I am safe as expected. And there we go, we're getting our first fish. Look at that. That's what RuneScape truly is about. It's about sitting for hours on end doing a repetitive task. That's what RuneScape's about. That's how you play RuneScape. If you don't play RuneScape doing that, I don't know what you're doing because you're whatever it is, you're doing it wrong, okay? You're doing it wrong if you're not doing this. Hours on end, repetitive task, it's the only way to play RuneScape. If you're not doing it, you're doing it wrong. Or wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, okay, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm fine. Why is he getting hit? Why is this guy getting hit? He's level 19. Is he attacking? Oh, oh, he's attacking a wizard. Why? Combat triangle, man. Get get your act together. Don't attack him with me. Well. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, that's that's how I used to do it, just full melee because who wants to spend money on buying runes and arrows? No way Jose. I'm I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm not loaded. Who's loaded? Look at that. Maybe this guy's loaded. Wearing a P hat. Uh, somebody's getting criticized for the lifestyle choices. Well, I, I respect criticizing that. Oh no, it wasn't a lifestyle choice. Ah, uh, snap, willows. 
but I am catching plenty of shrimps here. And if life told taught me anything, it's that shrimp is garbage. Man, I hate shrimp. I I don't like to eat shrimp. Um, I don't like lobster either. Um, well, maybe it's because lobster is such a pleb food that uh, I will not eat it. But anyway, I think that's all for today, and I'll be seeing you all next time on Wiltus Over and Out.